We present an approach using environment light to do photometric stereo. First, we describe our data capture process. Our simple setup consists of a mirror sphere and a digital camera. In each environment, we take a picture of the mirror sphere together with a picture of the object. The mirror sphere effectively captures the incoming light from different directions, resulting in an environment map. We repeat the process under different environments and get a series of input images. Finally, we use these images to reconstruct the 3D surface of the object. Now we show the results. The first experiment is to capture an object in the room, with lights turning on and off. We have two examples. This shows the input images of the example chef the wine bottle, the chef's face and arms, and part of his clothes are coloured. Our approach reconstructs the surface reasonably well. One can see the subtle details of the face, like the eyes and the eyebrows. We can also see the clothes details like the folding scarf and the buttons. The surface of the wine bottle is curved similarly as the real object. Here are the input images of the example, a shoe. The shoe is coloured differently at different parts. The surface of the shoe is densely covered by a mesh-like grid, which is accurately reconstructed. The top of the shoe is bent as a jute. The second experiment is to capture an object under different background scenes. We show two examples. Here are the input images of the example couple. This shows the reconstructed surface. Our approach faithfully reconstructs the heads, bodies, arms and the legs. Here are the input images of the example, mother and baby. The surface geometry is more complicated, with ridges and valleys near the mother's folding arm and the baby. The reconstruction shows very good quality. Here you can see the very subtle details, such as the baby's legs, head and the mother's hands. Finally, we performed experiments in an open space, from morning to evening, using sunlight as the light source. The example shows a jumping horse. First, we notice the detail of hair on the tail. The body, the legs and the neck are reasonably curved. One can also see subtle details, such as the ears and the eyes.
This is an example of a horse head sculpture reconstructed under sunlight. The face of the horse has lots of ridges and valleys, which are clearly seen in the reconstruction. One can also notice the faithful reconstruction of the eyelid and the curved surface of the outer ear.